you can differentiate both sides with respect to t, and you do not get zero either way because these are functions of t. And maybe for a little extra emphasis on the right-hand side, you might want to write x squared as x of t squared. You may prefer doing that because that emphasizes you really do need the chain rule there. We've got a composition of two functions, an inner function, x of t, which we don't know the formula for, but we don't need to. And then the outer function is the squaring function. The chain rule would say, take the derivative of the outer function, bring down that 2 and subtract 1 to get 2x of t to the first power, but I'll just write it as an x to the first, times the derivative of the inside, which would be x prime of t if I'm using this notation. Back here, I can write it as dx dt if I'm using the Leibniz notation. Okay? This is pretty tricky for people. You really need to think carefully about what's going on. You need to use your imagination. The square is getting bigger over time. a and x both depend on t. 